Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. We have a power yoga routine today, which I'm very excited about. Get ready to sweat, get your heart pumping, work those muscles, and rev up your metabolism. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. We are going to walk to the front of our mats, feet together, inhale up, and exhale through the mouth all the way down. Slowly roll up. Perfect, go ahead and step back with the left foot. Turn the foot out, warrior one. Five breaths here. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. All right, go ahead and drop the arms. Slide or hop the back foot forwards and step back with the right foot. Turn the foot out. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Bring the top arm down and the back foot forwards. Okay, feet are together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale through the mouth all the way down. Reach for the toes. Inhale up to flat back, hands to your shins. Exhale down. Step or jump back into plank. Okay, plank position here. Go ahead and chaturanga into upward dog. Elbows close to those sides. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat. Down dog. Remember to drive your heels down towards the mat and to press your hands into the mat to angle your head down. All right, look forward at the hands, step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. All right, five squat jumps. So squat down and up. Okay, so stay down right here. Step or jump back into plank. 10 X jumps. All right, perfect job. Two push-ups. And chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Alternate bending the knees here to stretch out those calves. Float the right leg up. Hold it here for just a moment, stretching out the base leg. And slowly bring the foot through, up by the hands. Turn the back foot sideways. Place the right hand on the inside of the foot. Bring the left arm up, right angle pose.
arm over the head. Okay, bring that left hand down onto the mat. Step back into plank. Go ahead and look at the hand, step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. Okay, five squat jumps. Stay down on this one. Step or jump back into plank. Okay, go ahead and do your 10 plank jumps. Two push-ups and then chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Lift the left leg up. Slowly bring the foot through. Turn the back foot out. Left hand on the inside of the foot. Bring the right hand up. Hold here. Right angle pose. Arm overhead. Okay, place the right hand down on the mat. Step back into plank. Look at the hand, step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. All right, five squat jumps. Stay down here. Step or jump back into plank. 10 plank jumps. Two push ups, chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Flip the right leg up. Slowly bring it through. Turn the back foot sideways. I want you to straighten the front leg here. Bring the right hand. You can place it on the shin, on the ankle, or all the way down onto the mat. And bring the left arm up. Triangle pose. Arm over the head. Okay, bring the left hand down, place it on the mat. Step back into plank. Look at the hand, step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. Five squat jumps. Down here, step or jump back into plank. 10 X jumps, pink jumps. Two push ups, chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Flip 
Split the left leg up. And slowly bring it through. Turn the back foot sideways. Straighten the front leg again here. Left hand goes on the inside of the foot. Bring the right arm up. Triangle pose. Arm overhead. Relax the right hand down on the mat. Step back into plank. Look at the hands and step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. Okay, five squat jumps. Stay down. Step or jump back into plank. Ten plank jacks, extra. Two push ups, chaturanga into upward dog. Doing a great job. I know this is hard. <sighs> Down dog. Flip the right leg up. Slowly swing it through. And go ahead and straighten the front leg. Come up a bit here. Okay, a few breaths here so you don't get dizzy. All right, scoot the front leg in a bit. Whatever's comfortable, we're going into a half move. The right hand down. Come up on those fingertips if you need to. It's totally fine. I definitely need to do that. I'm not to the point where I'm stable with my hand flat. So whatever works best for you. And... Bring the leg and arm up. Try to open up the chest as best you can. We'll get better at this. And relax down. All right, since we're here, feet together. Slowly roll up. Okay, again, five squat jumps. Stay down on this one. Step or jump back into plank. Ten X jumps. Plank jumps. You don't call them both. Two push ups, try to get into upward dog. Down dog. Flip the left leg up. And slowly swing the leg through. You can go ahead and slowly stand up here. Take your time. All right, walk the feet together a bit. Again, half moon. So go down when you're ready. Up on those fingertips if you need to. Bring the top leg up. Arm up, opening up the chest as best as you can. Hold here. And slowly come out of the pose. Hands on the mat, feet together, slowly roll up. OK, 
Okay, great job. Five squat jumps. Down here, step or jump back into plank. You know the drill here. Down dog. All right, right leg up. Slowly swing it through. And from here, bring the back foot forward a bit. I'm gonna scoot back because I have the, the cabinet in front of me. I don't wanna run into it. But if you don't need to, just stay where you are. You're going into a standing split. So remember the goal here is to actually be holding onto your ankle or your foot having those hands as close to you as possible, but I don't work on this pose very often, and I like my hands out here, okay? That's where I'm able to balance, and if that's the case for you, that's great as well, okay? So just do the best that you can. So hands down for support as you lengthen the left leg up and bring the head as close to the leg as you can. Right. And slowly come out of the pose. Okay, nice job. Feet together. Hands on the mat. Go ahead and slowly roll up. All right, so again, five squat jumps. Good job, guys. Stay down. Step or jump back into plank. And again, 10 plank jumps. Two push-ups, chaturanga into a four dog. And take your time. Awesome job. Down dog. Left leg up. Slowly swing it through. And slowly come up a bit here. Take your time so you don't get dizzy. All right, walk those feet in as much as you need to. Standing split. Place your hands where you like them. And slowly go up. And slowly come out of the pose. Okay, feet are together. Slowly roll up. Alright, so we have one more pose on each side, right and left. Okay, dancer's pose. So if you're thinking that you're tired or you're feeling tired, you're thinking about quitting, don't do it. You can finish. We're almost done and then we'll wind things down, okay? All right. So dancers pose, but we have five squat jumps first, okay? Down here. Step or jump back into plank. X legs. X plank whatever I've been calling them, X-Track. The 
push-ups. You can do those. Chaturanga, upward dog. Down dog. Float the right leg up. Slowly swing it through. All right, and slowly roll up from here. All right, guys, you're doing great. We have dancer's pose. You can bring those feet together as much as needed. Recover a bit here. Don't let you feeling dizzy. We're going to start with the right leg as the base leg here. And if you'd like to hold on to something with the right hand, please feel free to do so, okay? This is just fine. Otherwise, grab the left foot with the left hand as you lean forwards and lengthen out the arm. Hold here. And if you lean forwards like me too much, no big deal. Just hop back in, okay? Slowly come out of the pose. Again, definitely need to work on that one. All right, this is our last sequence of the hard stuff. So you can do this, all right? So five squat jumps. Down. Step or jump back into plank. 10 X legs is the correct name. Last two push-ups, last chaturanga, you got this. Oh, great job, guys. Down dog. Flip the left leg up. Slowly swing it through. And take your time here coming up, okay? Take your time. So you don't get dizzy. Again, take a little more time here at the top. So you walk those feet together. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay. So dancer's pose. Left leg is the base leg this time. Again, take your time. If you fall out, not a big deal. Okay? We're practicing here together to get better. All right? So whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Slowly come out of the pose. All right, guys, great job. Good job, celebrate that you just did that. We're gonna wind down, do some stretching. Oh, awesome job. Okay, so inhale, arms up. Open the mouth as you exhale all the way down. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to your shins. Head is up, and exhale down. All right, you can go ahead and have a seat on the mat, and we'll widen the legs here. Okay. All right, guys, great job. Legs are open. We're gonna stretch out those inner thighs and hamstrings. So go ahead and inhale, arms up, and exhale down. Reach straight out in front of you, okay? Relax the head and the back. Focus on your breathing. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth as you stretch. All right. 
Go ahead and sit up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it down to the left side. Reach for the toes. Perfect. Go ahead and slowly sit up. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it down to the right. You can go ahead and sit up and slowly start bringing the legs in towards each other. Bend them, butterfly stretch here. Start with the feet about a foot away from the body. Grab onto those ankles. Inhale up and exhale down. Use your elbows to help lower those knees and legs down toward the ground. It's totally okay if they don't touch though. Go ahead and sit up, pull the feet in closer, so about six inches away this time. Again, inhale up, and exhale down. Okay, go ahead and sit up, and you can cross the legs here. Bring the arms behind the back, clasp your hands together, open up the chest as you lift the arms up, and hold here. As you hold, you can roll your head around from side to side, stretching out the neck. Okay, release the stretch and now get onto your hands and your knees for a cat cow stretch. All right, inhale as you arch the back, bring the head up and exhale, head down, round the back, belly button towards your spine. Inhale and exhale. One more of each, inhale up, and exhale down. All right, from here, I would like you to leave your butt up in the air, but you're going to lengthen your arms out. As you do so, drive your chest down towards the mat and play with the position of your arms by scooting them further apart or closer together. I would like you to feel the stretch in your upper back, so around the spine. Hold here. All right, awesome job. Lie down on your stomach. Ah, oh, feels good to lay down, okay. So go ahead and bend the left leg, grab the top of the foot and gently pull, stretching out the quad. Release this stretch and switch to the other side. Again, relax the leg down, and you can roll onto your back. Okay, knees are bent. Please straighten your right leg, grab it, and pull it towards you. 
You can alternate pointing and flexing the foot as you hold here, stretching out the hamstring. Okay, relax the leg down, bring the left leg up, grab, hold, point, and flex. All right, go ahead and relax the left leg down. Knees are still bent. Bring the outer right ankle to the left knee. Relax the right hip as much as you can before grabbing either your hamstring or your shin and pulling the legs in towards you. stretch and switch to the other side. Outer left ankle, right knee. This time relax the left hip as much as possible. And again, hamstring or shin. Pull those legs in towards the chest. Okay, release the stretch and slowly come to a seated position. Take your time here. Don't want to get dizzy. Okay, so cross those legs. Inhale, arms all the way up. Open your mouth as you exhale down. One more time, inhale up and exhale down. All right, great job guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. All right, five, tucked 